I thought there was only one fish coming. That is unbelievable. I was blown away when I saw the video from Greg and from Brian, but now I'm actually seeing it firsthand, and this is incredible. You know, right now, in the state of our world, I think we could all use a little bit more of that love. Hey, what's up, everybody? Ed the Pond Professor here. I am at Aqualand in front of this incredible koi window we installed two years ago now. Today's a special day. We just got a delivery. You don't want to miss this. This brand new fish is incredible. Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, saw it from Brian Fitzsimmons, Fitz's Fish Ponds, and I tell you what, this is one unique fish. I've never seen one like it. Here's the box. This is a massive container. Just came in from the East Coast. It was packaged and shipped yesterday afternoon. Fish has not even been in the box for 24 hours yet. Now Brian, the team over at Fitz's Fish Ponds, they know how to ship fish. He gets specialized fish from around the world, so he knows how to deal with them all. And you have to take your time because you don't want to have any damages to the fish. If they're going to pack it into a box like this, it's going to be insulated, and that's because you want to keep the fish cool as it's being shipped. And the reason because of that, very, very simple, cold water holds more dissolved oxygen. Dissolved oxygen is the name of the game when we're talking with something like this because you don't want the fish to suffocate. The other thing with colder water keeps the metabolism down from the fish. You can see this is a double wall box. I could feel the cold actually coming out from inside of it. Oh my gosh, check this out. <laughs> These guys are unbelievable, but what's throwing me off, I thought there was only one fish coming. I, I literally thought there was one fish. There's two fish inside of this box. Oh, I can't lift it up and out of here. But look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, let's push this thing off. Check out this fish. Two of them in here. Spectacular. The one we ordered was this guy right here, and it is a Sanke, and it has a very unique marking on it. It's really, really cool. It's better than I thought. Better from the pictures. Let's get him in the quarantine tank so we can get him into his new home. So what we're in right now, this is actually our massive warehouse just outside of the retail store. You can see we have some different quarantine tanks. Let me get these guys in here real quick. So these tanks have been specially set up for this exact purpose. We have a self-contained system. So we have 200 gallons of water on one side. We have a pumping system associated with it, as well as a biological filter and additional aeration. The reason being is we had to cycle the tank. The nitrogen cycle is very, very important because if it's not done properly, it's going to stress the fish. As soon as you get a stressed fish, they are more prone to illnesses, bacterial, fungal, all different types of things can start happening to them just like us if you get stressed out and if you're close to somebody who is sick all of a sudden you could also get sick but if you have a healthy immune system everything is working well you'll be able to resist all that so what we want to do in this is we are going to put the fish in here without a huge bio load like the big pond over there about a three percent salt solution inside of here which is going to remove any potential parasites what was that oh uh, I have a parasite. Parasite! And things like that, that might be on the fish. And the reason being is we're bringing two fish into our school that's here. So we want to make sure there's no transfer of anything from one to the other. So by keeping them in here, we could monitor them, we could see how their health is, we could feed them, we could see how they're feeding. Again, all these things are basic philosophies and concepts of keeping animals. You know if everything's working well. If they're eating, if they're acting normal, it's probably going to be fine. I could tell by the look on them, they're not stressed. They're not flailing around. They're not gasping for oxygen because they have been put into a situation with pure oxygen inside of that bag. The other thing that I'm looking for is the fins. So you're gonna to start to see some signs of the stress on the tip of the fins if you get flushed, if you have red marks, if you have any kind of a sloughing off 
of that slime layer, that means there is some sort of a stressor that is bothering the fish. By just doing a slight salt solution, it's gonna get rid of 98% of all of those issues. Very simple, very easy to do, yet very effective. I'm gonna try to acclimate them to the temperatures. So I'm feeling temperature over on this side, and what I wanna do is I'm gonna start cutting this open as well so I could kinda of check that water temperature on the other side. I have a couple small containers here, which I don't know if they're big enough. What I would like to do is not mix the water from the bag into this tank. I'd like to actually put them into a secondary containment system and then reintroduce them into the tank. I'm gonna cut a hole in here to start adding in some new oxygen, but I'm not gonna dump the contents of the water out. Just wanna start getting a little bit of fresh air. Now I could agitate the water. Now I could definitely tell the water in here is considerably colder than the other pond. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna let this stabilize a little bit, kind of dump the contents of this into this one so I'm not mixing it with the pond water on this side. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our koi sock net. We're gonna pick that fish up and transform back over into here. Look at these fish. When we're talking with Brian Fitzsimmons, we're talking high quality fish. Beautiful. Look at the colors on this. I mean, the, the sharpness of the red to the black. It's not bleeding out as well as the white over to the red. So this is just an incredible fish. You don't see any marks on their fins at all. These fish are, I think, are going to do very, very well in the new home here at Aqualand. Look at their gills right now. They're breathing normally. Just a slow rhythmic motion. They're not gasping, just like a person. If somebody is stressed, has anxiety or something, your breathing is gonna change. It's the same thing with a fish. Same thing with a lot of other animals. They, we all exhibit the same things. We're all aerobic animals. And that is gonna be some of the first signs of stress. But right now, these guys are looking really, really good. We've waited long enough. The water on both is, has been stabilized. So we are gonna release them. Again, I don't wanna handle them too much. The reason I don't want to handle them a lot is because you could remove some of that slime coating. That slime coating is their first line of defense. If they have a healthy slime coating, they could actually resist a lot of infections, a lot of parasites and things like that. So we want to keep that intact. But we also have our koi sock net over here. This is designed to actually hold a little bit of water with the fish. The reason I, I know this is important, you take an animal like this that has lived its entire life supported in water. Water obviously creates buoyancy, so it has a specific gravity of one. These fish actually have the same specific gravity, so they are neutrally buoyant. They just float around in this incredible medium. Now, as soon as you take them out of that, now you have nothing supporting you other than atmospheric air, which for a fish, that has lived underwater its entire life, that puts a heck of a lot of pressure undue on its organs because its entire body mass is gonna be pushing on its abdomen, pushing on his gill structures. By having this little device right here, it eliminates all of that stress and it's gonna make this transition a lot easier. The other thing that I have not even talked about yet was the whole reason why we got this fish. Check this out. Look at the side of that fish. It literally has a heart on the side in those patterns. He's got a black outline, a red and white. He's got a stripe going right through that. That is unbelievable. I was blown away when I saw the video from Greg and from Brian, but now I'm actually seeing it firsthand, and this is incredible. I love all the unique aspects about these incredible fish, and this one is getting pushed over the top because of that one incredible, unique feature. Now, right now, in the state of our world, I think we could all use a little bit more of that love. So I think that's a good thing. Hopefully that's a good omen for us. Let's finish this operation off, get them back into their quarantine home here where they're gonna spend the next couple weeks. Now I'm gonna take some of that water that's actually been in here, but it's been diluted quite a bit now. So I do have a small percentage in there. I'm gonna take this here and we could release. This guy actually got turned around inside. Perfect. Go right on in there. There we go, nice and smooth. Water in there. Now, this one's right out the other side. Like I said, minimal handling is key. That is definitely a success for right now. So again, we're not out of the woods yet. We have the next couple weeks of monitoring the fish, checking water quality parameters, making sure everything is perfect. Then we're gonna take them from here, 
put them into the main pond where they could swim in front of that incredible glass window that we have for all the visitors coming to Aqualand to enjoy the beauty of this incredible animal. Stay tuned. Parasite!